Hey, if you want to dive into the health niche, then this video is for you, because we will cover all sub-niches in the health niche, so that you don't need to research further to start your blog or YouTube channel. We will provide you with all the subtopics you can cover in the health and fitness niche. But before we go into our list of fitness sub-niches, you should know that the health niche falls within the your money or your life category, which relate to topics and niches that can directly impact a person's health or finances. In short, if you don't have any expertise in the health or finance niche, then my advice is to go with other evergreen niches because you will face many problems in the future. You can check the list of evergreen niches in the description where we covered all blogging niches in detail and guide on how to start a career in these niches. I will tell you about my experience, what I faced while entering into these niches, and what you should know before entering into health niche. But first, let's know what your money or your life niches are. Your money or your life content is the kind of information that may have a direct influence on your visitors' happiness, health, safety, and finances. In other words, creating a page with incorrect advice or information may impact people's lives and livelihoods, implying that the stakes are high for this kind of information. Google takes this type of content seriously since it wants to deliver accurate information to its users. Only specialists with relevant experience may dive into the these niches and create content for their blogs and YouTube channels. Now I hope you have basic knowledge of your money your life content and know how to choose a niche for your blog or website. Now, let's move to our health and fitness industry sub-niches list. First of all, let's know what health and fitness niche is. What is health and fitness niche? A niche is a small but profitable subset of your targeted audience with whom you exchange content on a specific subject. People in the health niche share health-related information online or offline using any means to reach a specific audience and assist them. Now you have proper knowledge of what is health niche and what type of content we have to create for our audience. Now let's move to our first niche which is Digestive Health You may start a blog in the gastrointestinal health niche and establish a brand in everyday basics such as how much carbohydrates, fats, and protein are required to live a happy life. Most human diseases begin in the gut, thus creating a blog where you can teach your readers about healthy food and solutions to help them improve their gut health is the best way to help people online. While researching this post, I discovered that in the United States about 72% of people in 2000 reported having at least one gastrointestinal symptom. So if you have good experience in the digestion niche, you may develop a blog and a YouTube channel. Niche number 2. Weight Loss Yes, I know weight loss is the first keyword that comes to our mind when we say about health niche, and it is also a profitable niche in health hobbies. You can start a weight loss blog in this niche and a micro niche site where you can discuss only one topic. This is because there is much competition in the weight loss niche, so starting a micro niche blog is what I can suggest to my visitors. Note that micro niche blogging is like niche blogging, but here you cover all the queries which are only related to one subtopic. In ordinary words, you'd have to cover a subtopic within the same topic. For example, in the health niche, you can start a blog where you cover topics only related to bodyweight exercises to lose weight. Another example is to cover topics related to weight loss, diet plans, etc. Here are some micro niche topics in the weight loss niche. Calorie specific diets, ketogenic diets for weight loss, weight loss supplements and pills, low carb diets, weight loss, men and women blog on post-pregnancy weight loss. There are various micro niches in the weight loss category. These are some examples to help you from my side. And I hope it helps you realize what potential areas you might start your internet journey in. Niche number three, blog on diabetes. Diabetes is a significant issue in the 21st century. Diabetes is a chronic disease that affects how your body converts food into energy. Most of the food you consume is converted into sugar, glucose, by your body and released into your circulation. When your blood sugar rises, your pancreas signals to release insulin. Diabetes is the major problem that all generations are facing today. So creating a blog where you can cover all the queries people are searching for is the best idea to start your blogging journey. You can provide all the information about the disease, its types, food plans, how to deal, and many other topics in your blog. Niche number four, bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is also a broad topic like weight loss that can be broken down into various micro niches. There are plenty of topics you can cover in the bodybuilding niche, and you can also create a blog in its micro niche 
to lower the competition. You will find much competition in bodybuilding, so it is an excellent approach to lower that competition to thrive in this hobby. Here are some micro niche ideas in the bodybuilding niche. Training, running, treadmill or outdoors, cycling, spin classes, weight training, boot camps, dance-based classes, bodyweight training. These are some prominent bodybuilding micro niches in which I can recommend you focus your efforts and develop content. Google prefers websites and blogs that cover all topics and queries relevant to a single micro niche. So, begin creating content in one of these micro niches. Our last niche of this list is yoga. Yoga is another of the most popular topics in the health niche. There are more than 368,000 searches per month for the term yoga, and it is also a highly profitable keyword to work on. You may start a yoga blog and teach different yoga poses, how to control your mind and body and so on. Starting a YouTube channel in this niche is the perfect opportunity to offer video tutorials of each exercise so people can practice them correctly. In this sector, video tutorials are great, while blog postings are best for instructions, so maintain both the platforms for good branding in less time. A yoga blog can also help you develop a stronger relationship with your current clients and promote yourself as an expert. There are six more such niches in the health industry on our blog, but to keep this video short, I can only explain these five health niches. If you want to know more about health industry niches, please visit the first link in the description, where we covered six more health niches for blogging and YouTube. I hope this video on health niches for blogging helped you and will guide you in various questions. This video is based on my personal experience, and the advice and actions have been tested and tried by me. As your buddy, I can only advise you to go with micro niche blogs because it will be challenging to succeed if you pick the health niche as your blog niche. So stick to the health sub niches stated in the video. So I wish you the best of luck with your blogging journey. And if you liked our content, please comment below with your thought on the information I provided. If I missed some information, please recommend that I will add those points as soon as possible. So stay safe and enjoy blogging.